everyone. Today's story is The Everywhere Bear by Julia Donaldson. With her blue pointy shoes and her hair in a bun, Mrs McAllister teaches class one. That's Ollie and Holly and Josie and Jay, Leo and Theo and April and May, Billy and Lily and little Lee Woo, Daisy and Maisie and Matt, who is new. Hannah and Zala, Callum and Claire, Kevin and Bev, and the Everywhere Bear. The Everywhere Bear has a home on a shelf, but he doesn't spend very much time by himself. For each boy and each girl in the class is a friend and he goes home with one of them every weekend. On Mondays they carry him back to class one and tell all the others the things that he's done. He has bus rides with April and horse rides with May. He eats burgers with Billy and jelly with Jay. With Lee Woo he's a pirate, with Kevin a king and Callum and Claire push him high on the swing. He bounces with Bev and does handstands with Holly. He likes playing football with Maisie and Ollie. He always makes dens when he goes home with Daisy. At Lily's they let him be lovely and lazy. With Leo and Theo he tinkles a tune. With Hannah and Zella he goes to the moon. With Josie he whizzes about in a chair. No wonder they call him the Everywhere Bear. One rainy Monday the new boy called Matt was splashing to school when he spotted a cat. And when he bent over to give it a cuddle, the everywhere bear tumbled into a puddle. Just round the corner, a driver called Pete sat in a van painting stripes on the street. Matt got to school and sat down on his chair. He opened his bag and the bear wasn't there. Nobody knew that the poor little fellow, just like the street, had been painted bright yellow. Nobody saw when a river of rain washed him and whooshed him head first down a drain. And no one was there when the bear with the stripe, dirty and dizzy, splashed out of the pipe. The water was wild and the weather was wet when Jim, Jeff and Jonathan hauled him in their net. Waves rock rocked the boat and a storm filled the air. None of them noticed the everywhere bear. Back in the harbour, Mohammed Hussain lifted the fish off the boat with his crane. Give me two boxes, said Mrs Old Bishop, and she cheerfully wheeled them away to her fish shop. She started unpacking, then muttered, that's odd, there's a bear wrapped in seaweed between these two cod. Out of the fish shop and onto the skip, into a lorry and off to the tip. Aha! squawked a seagull called Solomon Shriek. I smell fish and he picked up the bear in his beak. They flew over the treetops and over the town and the bear saw his school when he dared to look down. Then Solomon perched on the roof of a shop. This isn't fish and he let the bear drop. Then a very kind lady called Bethany Burke picked up the bear, bear on her way into work. Each Friday morning class one pays a visit to one of their favourite places. Where is it? The library. Jay finds a book about stars. Josie finds one about buses and cars. Billy likes aliens and Lily likes lizards. Hannah and Zella is keener on wizards. Finally, everyone's chosen a book. They queue at the counter, then Matt cries out, look, April and May and the others say, where? Behind you, he's there, it's the everywhere bear. Then they carry him happily home to class one, saying, where have you been bear? And what have you done? The bear never talks, but he smiles to himself and thinks as he settles back down on his shelf. I've been in a puddle, I've been down a drain, I've been in a boat and I've been in a crane, I've been in a shop and I've been on a skip, I've been on a lorry, I've been on a tip, I've been in a beak and I've been in the air. No wonder they call me the everywhere bear.
that's like us in our class. Hope you enjoyed the everywhere bear. I know it's a favourite in reception and nursery. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.